first time I saw Earth from space was on the space shuttle. Uh, my first flight, I flew to the station on the space shuttle Discovery, and I do not remember if we were over land or water or night or day. I just remember being impacted by the view, like not believing, first of all, not believing that I'm floating in this place that I was in. You know, that was kind of <laughs> amazing enough on its own. And then to be able to put my face in that window and see home below was awesome. It's like a work of art out the window there and it surprises you every time you look at it. You get these beautiful twinkly city lights, you know, seeing where all the people are and where they aren't. And one of the most impressive things was watching thunderstorms, you know, storm activity moving around the planet. It's like watching neurons firing in a brain. These tentacles of light that are just connecting and traveling, yeah, it might be starting over Florida, but it's moving across the ocean to Africa as far as you can see. And I, I mean, I remember floating there just thinking about, oh my gosh, everything is connected. And if you get it dark in the station, all the colors and the light come out in that depth of space as well. And it's kind of that, I don't really know what infinity is, but maybe that's what infinity is. And just like the clarity of looking at the earth and the colors glowing there, you get that same clarity in this blackest black I've ever seen. And it feels like you could reach in and like the stars have distance between them. When you're in that place, it, you know, 250 miles is really not that far in the grand scheme of things. But it seems far when you're in space on the space station or on the space shuttle. I think the perspective is one of like a reality check of seeing this thing you thought you knew from being right down in it, on it, in a whole new way. And realizing that, you know, oh my gosh, that is a planet. and. I am farther away from it than I ever likely will be, and I feel like more a part of everyone, everything that's down there, than I had when I was right in the middle of it. We all feel, I think, an obligation to share the experience in one way or another. For me, that's been art. I've tried to use the paintings that I create on my own, the work that I'm doing with other people artistically to, to share that message. And if I think about my own artwork, you know, whether people like my art or not really is not all that important to me, but I want to reach audiences that might not even know we have a space station. Might not know that for almost 20 years, we have been living peacefully, successfully, in space on this mechanically created life support system with people from 15 different countries doing work that is all about improving life on Earth. 